What is up guys, I Dwight Help here, and today I got a rather interesting video for you guys. If you heard about the new MacBook Pros 2016, you've already heard about the Touch Bar and Touch ID integration to the keyboard. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a little project going on on GitHub that allows you to demo that on any MacBook capable of running Mac OS 10.12.1. And as always, links are going to be in the description down below. As you can see, I already have it installed here. In the minute I launch Safari, you'll notice that it changes into Safari controls. It gives me a new tab to add. It changes between tabs. Now, before I continue talking about the touch bar to install this, I'll link you guys, as I mentioned, down below. You can download the touch bar uh, server right here, the zip file. Go ahead and download that. And if you want to install it on your machine, you can also go ahead and download, as I mentioned, Sierra 10.12.1 update. Once you have those two installed, be sure to update the computer first, of course then go ahead and install the touch bar and that's going to give you this little blue application here which allows you to have the touch bar on your machine now the touch bar will allow you to change between applications or so give you functions that are according to that application it kind of morphs into that when you first launch any application so for example I got the messages application going on right here as you can see I have the escape key I have the compose new message I even have the new emoji right there of course we're not going to get a touch screen with this very similar to the iPhone it gives you suggestions right here to compose your message if you click on this little tab here it brings up your function keys just like on your Mac your brightness your volume up and down your key brightness your play controls and you even have a dedicated Siri button at the bottom right of the touch bar and let me go ahead and launch here Safari to show you some of the key things that you get here within Safari you get a search tab you also get your function keys and you can switch between tabs directly from the touch bar I thought that was really really neat now before I started filming this video I wanted to capture the screen of the Mac in order to have a clear image of what I was doing but I noticed that when I launched the QuickTime player to capture the screen on my Mac the touch bar actually turned into those controls so I couldn't use the controls or the functions of the touch bar while I was capturing the screen so if I click here screen recording on this Mac and I start recording the screen you see that the controls down there uh, change to what's happening with the recording I got the play pause button I got the time the memory that the video was taking I also uh, have my controls right here so very neat experience when you use this touch bar now in order to have it show up on the screen be sure to click up top here where you get your controls there make sure you click on on screen touch bar and then you have to press FN for it to show on your display I just wanted to share this quick a little project with you guys that's going on on GitHub right now. I thought it was really, really interesting. As always, guys, links are going to be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.